unbelievable drama unfolds in the bold and the beautiful, Thomas's bold move for hope, Poppy's terrifying prophecy, and Finn's haunting visions. Is Sheila's ghost manipulating reality? Spoilers for Friday, March 15 th's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Thomas's surprise dress for Hope Poppy visits Finn spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that Thomas Forrester will receive some dating advice from Ridge Forrester. Though Ridge would believe his son needs to be a bit more proactive, Thomas is convinced Hope Logan will transfer the ring from her chain to her finger shortly. Ridge will believe that Thomas needs to take a risk and show Hope how much he loves her, rather than simply waiting for her to accept his proposal of marriage. Thomas has been working on a surprise for Hope, which he will reveal later. Hope is going to test on a flashy dress in the design office that Thomas reportedly designed and sketched specifically for her. That should let Hope realize that Thomas is only interested in her but given all she's been telling Brooke Logan, she already knew that. In this relationship, Hope enjoys being treated with priority, and Thomas's most recent extravagant act will only heighten that sense. Hope might be more inclined to shift the ring to her finger, as Thomas is hoping, as a result. As Luna Nozawa doesn't feel like she can talk to Poppy Nozawa at the moment, Bill Spencer will push her to open out to him. Luna may conclude that Bill is the next best thing and rely on him since she wishes she had a father figure in her life to confide in. Will Luna admit to all the drama around the special mint and the ensuing uncertainty in the bedroom? If Luna doesn't reveal everything, at least she may acknowledge that she ate some of those mints by accident and made some bad decisions. Bill may encourage Luna to realize that Poppy would never intentionally harm her if she were to admit that she holds Poppy responsible for the devastation of her life. Poppy will need someone to talk to, according to other BNB spoilers, so she plans to surprise John Finn Finnegan by showing up at the cliff home. It appears that Finn, who surprises Poppy by opening the door shirtless, will be returning from a swim. Finn could welcome the diversion and encourage Poppy to tell him what's going on because he has been so consumed by Sheila Carter's passing and all of his conflicted emotions around it. Poppy might not tell Finn all that has happened, but she might acknowledge that she and Luna had a quarrel and that she's concerned about the harm that has been done. Poppy might then make a terrifying prophecy about how her relationship with Luna would end. According to teasers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Poppy will have a lot on her plate and will confide in Finn for assistance. Today's next news. Is Sheila's ghost in bold and the beautiful more cunning when dead than when alive? Sheila Carter haunts her son on bold and the beautiful, first in nightmares and then in visions while he is awake. This week on BNB, Finn asks Steffi Forrester, what's happening to me? What then is going on with John Finnegan as Sheila Carter continues to have visions? Brave and lovely, Sheila Carter passes away in a scene that seems like a psycho. Her son Finn is haunted by visions of Sheila Carter on BNB, the most recent appearance of Sheila left John Finnegan completely stunned. To him, she seemed like a bleeding mess on the ground. Subsequently, his insane mother resorted to Finn and requested assistance. He leaped from the couch with such force that Steffi Forrester, who is blind, was startled. This week's aspirations for Finn on Bold and the Beautiful come with a lot of issues. Though his perception is so clear, it is not at all like what actually occurred. Finn envisions Steffi taking a knife to Sheila in a manner reminiscent of Norman Bates cutting his victim during the shower scene in Psycho. In reality, though, Steffi was apprehensive to stab Sheila and only did so when she suddenly lunged at her. The nine-toed woman was only stabbed once by the knife. Finn feels that everything about these pictures is incorrect, even the clothing his mother was wearing when she passed away. Her son sees her smartly dressed in professional clothing, rather than her home invasion gear, which is depicted below. Also, he views her as a victim who is pleading for aid. B&B spoilers, image painting or mental distortion. It is possible that Sheila's ghost is depicting a harsh image of Steffi the murderer in Bold and Beautiful. 
or Finn's mental state is declining. Perhaps by making his mother seem more normal and viewing his wife as the one who is cruel and vengeful, he is trying to justify his feelings toward her. If, however, this is his mother's ghost, then she is controlling her son's perception of his spouse. However, it's more possible that the good doctor has a mental health issue. Finn on Bold and the Beautiful might not be playing with a full deck anytime soon after an odd hint emerged this week. Brave and gorgeous warning, Sheila's boring death scene. Compared to previous death scenes written for Bold and the Beautiful, Sheila Carter's death scene was unremarkable. Sheila is typically too dramatic in any scene that involves drama. However, she didn't die there, after a few gurgles and sputters, she checked out. Finn finds that Steffi Forrester appears to be a cold-blooded killer in these pictures. Sheila Carter is just as cunning and sly in death as she was in life, provided this is indeed her ghost. However, where does this leave bold and the beautiful? Sheila Carter might only be visible to her kid as a ghost. Alternatively, and this is a more realistic theory, Finn is losing it a little bit every day. Spoilers for B&B, A Beautiful Mind This week's B&B writers appear to be enthralled with vintage blockbuster films. In her husband's opinion, they gave Steffi a knife and made her attack Sheila in the manner of Norman Bate. They then choose a sentence from a Russell Crowe film, which could provide some insight into John Finnegan's situation. Steffi made a strange comment while she and Finn were talking about Sheila Carter on the soap opera. She listed all the reasons she had for loving her husband. Among the other advantages she listed was his beautiful mind. Russell Crowe plays a genius in the film A Beautiful Mind, who all of a sudden starts to have terrifying delusions. Given how strange it sounds, Bold and the Beautiful probably included that for a reason. Sheila's passing is a stressor, therefore perhaps Finn's illness was triggered by hearing of Sheila's passing. Of course, there's always the possibility that Sheila Carter is returning to terrorize her son from the afterlife. If so, it implies that she is still engaged in a task from the afterlife. However, it's highly probable that John Finnegan is suffering from an uncommon ailment. That would imply that Sheila Carter simply haunts her son's lovely imagination. Having said that, if Sheila shows up alive, then none of this will matter. Many of her admirers believe that her unimpressive passing was staged for a specific reason. However, there is another hypothesis circulating regarding what the soap opera had in store for Sheila Carter. Today's next news. Five years after Matthew Atkinson's audacious and stunning debut, Thomas is positioned to achieve his goals the son of Ridge and Taylor received the ultimate makeover on March 15, 2019. Today, five years ago, Matthew Atkinson, a veteran of soap operas, who had already gained notoriety as Summer Newman's misguided first husband Austin Travers on The Young and the Restless, debuted as the fourth Thomas Forrester on The Bold and the Beautiful. However, we wouldn't learn that the alteration wasn't just aesthetic until a little later in the actor's career. The Thomas who had left going dark was not the same Thomas who had returned to Los Angeles. The role of Taylor and Ridge's son was portrayed by Adam Gregory and Pearson Fode mostly as an adorable pleasant man. But as soon as Atkinson was chosen to take over, the program started bringing up the volatility that had characterized Drew Tyler Bell's tenure. Atkinson more than met the challenge. Even Thomas's sins, which included gaslighting his own kid and framing stepmother Brooke for reporting him to CPS, were explicable to him. This guy doesn't seem like a bad guy, he said to Michael Fairman. Even though he is acting badly, many people may identify with him and the difficulties he has because he is a single father who had a difficult upbringing due to his family's dissolution. Has never truly felt that way, and he wants his father to respect and approve of him, he continued. Many individuals have experienced having a parent that they only look to for approval but are unable to receive it from. Everyone has experienced the feeling of believing they are making the right choice, 
but ultimately choosing the incorrect course of action and possibly causing harm to someone in the process. And the type of guilt you experience after acting in such a way. Because of this, viewers may find Thomas to be an engaging character and think, well, I don't agree with anything he is doing, but I can relate to him, and I want him to be better. However, Thomas simply cannot seem to stop making poor choices. A fresh start. Hope has given Thomas another shot at redemption despite his long list of transgressions. Given might be a bit strong, she was kind of forced to give it back to him at hope for the future or risk having her line cut. Nevertheless, he has made the most of it, demonstrating to her on a daily basis that he has changed and is now wholly committed to her. He could have avoided the entire scene where he led her to believe that baby Beth was dead and instead proposed to Zoe Buckingham in an attempt to make her envious if he had realized years before that all it would actually take to turn her head was being gorgeous and decent. With hope by his side, Thomas currently has everything he could possibly want. With hope in his arms. Hope resting on his cot. Now that I think about it, that's practically everything he desires. An old hand at it, Ridge's eldest son is desperate to wed Hope again. And it appears that his wish will eventually come true, that is, unless Hope, who is more worried about her stepsister Finn Finnegan, becomes resentful of him for supporting sister Steffi following her deadly stabbing of monster-in-law Sheila Carter. Will Thomas be able to give Finn enough empathy for his birth mother's passing so that Hope is satisfied? Or will Thomas become a beast as a result of her grace for Finn? Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.